what we've got, if we've got anything good at all. Let's see, come on, epics! So, before I begin, what I really want to do is open up all of these auctions that I've got. So, on our bank hold right here, you can see that we're starting off with 73 gold. Well, we'll round it off since it's close to uh, the next one, so we'll say 74. So, let's open up all of our bags and see what we've got. So, this is basically just a... Uh, all of the auctions that I've had over the last week or so, that, you know, I've just gradually sold with each passing day. So, as you can see, the... Uh, the gold's increased now by like what we've gained 70 gold there so let's just reload the uh the thing so that's the great thing about tsm as well you don't have to wait around you can just refresh the ui and it'll it'll come up so here we go another 70 gold here so we'll just uh we'll collect all this as well and you can see that it's going up quite nicely so this is uh you know going back to what i said in a couple of episodes ago you know the the best thing to do really is uh literally just have hundreds and hundreds of auctions up at any one given time that way like i say you know you've got a better chance see there's another 30 gold you, you know you've got a better chance at selling stuff and not only that if something isn't really selling you've got all of these other auctions that you've got you know making gold for yourself so you know that that's my my big take home advice when it comes to selling stuff on the auction house um also like i've said before as well you know uh, you know, if, if it's something that you think that will sell, then there's a, a good possibility that someone else will, will think the same thing and want to buy it. Um, so yeah, guys, we'll, we'll, well, we, we could be here for quite a while because I've had an absolute crap load of stuff. As you can see, some of these items are what I gained from um, some of the past Let's Play episodes that we've done. You know, there's a lot of herbalism stuff from um, from Diamall, I believe it was. We got a lot of enchanting mats as well from the very first episode that we did. We got a lot of cloth as well from Scarlet Monastery. Also, some of this is uh, stuff that I, I've uh, got that I've not recorded. Uh, I've done a few outdoor gold farming stuff and, you know, it's working out pretty good actually. I think today we might actually, um, we might actually do that as well today, you know, go outside for gold farming. So there we go, guys. <laughs> That's a pretty big increase. We've nearly made... Well, we made about 250 gold from that. Um, well, we've collected 250 gold. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the auction house right now, just to uh, just to see where we're at, see how much items we've got, we've got left to sell. I know I've got some of these as well that just aren't selling. Uh, so I'll tell you what, we'll post these first. Okay, so we've still got them auctions up. So if you take a look here guys as well, you know, we've got all of these items that are up for sale. Now what I've found as well typically is things like, things that stack up like the ghost mushrooms or, or these uh, these food things here. I find that they sell better when you post them um, as singles rather than a stack. You know, that that's just my opinion of course, but for me at least it seems to work best. Uh, so you know, as you can see we've got all of these items here got a whole load of auctions you know as it says there 94 items <laughs> so yeah let's log on to Rolly now and begin shall we guys you know what it is this is wow classic gold farming episode 5 let's play edition so with that being said everybody let's start a timer and go shall we so uh, before I begin as well there's there's one thing that I want to do in fact you can see here as well guys the starting gold is uh, 500 and 96 gold okay um so as i was logged on last night i was in stormwind and uh, someone <laughs> someone just randomly came up to me and says hey do you want do you want this diamond hammer i was like uh sure okay <laughs> and they just traded at me uh you know they didn't want any gold for it or anything they just gave it away for free um i presume that's because they uh, they're either being very nice or because they can't sell it so we're just going to send that over to our bank alt right now um so yeah guys Today, uh, well, before we begin, I need to get some water, obviously, so I'll go do that now. Awesome, there we go. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, so, yeah, what I'm, what I'm thinking of doing today is I'm thinking about going down to uh, Stockades uh, just, just for our gold farm for today. Um, also, guys, since we know what gold we're starting off at, today I'm thinking about making 50 gold in total today. Ah, perfect. Thank you very much, my friend. So we've got our water for today. We'll, uh, we'll include that there. So yeah guys, so today what I'm thinking about doing is, I'm thinking about going down to Stockades today, just for our gold farm. 
Um, so I, I was just, so as you just seen as well, the uh, the starting gold is uh, five. Well, we spent a gold on the water, but you know, five hundred and ninety-five gold today. So I want to make about fifty gold today in total. Um, also, guys, um, you know, it's been a while since I, I recorded these Let's Play Edition episodes. So as you may notice, um, our, our total subscriber number. It's gone up quite high actually. We're on we're now on 769 subscribers. So again for each and every single one of you guys that do subscribe, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. You know, it's just a pleasure knowing that um all of my content that I produce for you guys, you know, all of you guys are are enjoying it and getting the most out of it. Um, you know, whether that's through my, my dungeon guides or, or anything like that, you know, even if it's just for the entertainment value of like these Let's Play episodes, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying it. So with that being said, you know, all of this support is spurring me on to keep going. So today as well, I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different as well. I won't do it solo, even though that I know that I can do it solo. I think today... What, I, what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll invite a full group of people, I think, you know, ju just to, uh, you know, help out people, I guess, in that way. Um, as you know, guys, I, I don't charge for any of my runs that I do do. Um, so if you are on Razorgore EU, which is my server, then, you know, if you're a low level leveling up, you know, and you happen to see my, uh, if you happen to see my groups being posted in, in the trade chat or whatever, you know, jump on board. Uh, okay, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll make an, a new macro, uh, looking for more stocks. Okay, now on the we'll pick any any random image. We'll go with that one. Okay, so we're uh, looking for more stockades boosting for free. Okay, we'll save that and we'll just uh, we'll uh, we'll put that there. Okay, so. Um, We'll start spamming trade chat and we'll do world chat as well as looking for group chat. There we go. Should get a few fishes biting for that. So here's a gear update as well, guys. So uh, if you remember, I think it was the episode three of the Let's Play series. Um, that was that was actually a week ago now uh, when I did MC last. But you may have noticed I've got a new a new item. Can you guess what it is? Yep. It's one of the items that I said that I really wanted. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the heavy dark iron ring actually. So uh, I'm really happy that I've got that. Um, it's replaced the uh, songstone of Ironforge. Um, so you know I've lost out on a little bit of intellect and and about 18 spell power. Um, it doesn't really affect anything in the grand scheme of things uh, because I, as you can see I've gained 20 stamina and 110 armor. So that's really good. Um, also, because of the the Lawbringer gloves, I can actually equip a uh, barrage girdle, which makes up for the loss in in damage and healing. Um, you know, it's just about you know altering a few items around really. Um, so by the look of this, we, we've got a few a few whispers. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, you can come. Uh, you can come as well. So can you, and so can you. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so that's three people. Uh, which one? That's the mage. Uh, Whiskey Pala. Come here, mate. Oh, he's not even playing. Okay. Looking for one more stockade boost. Three. But yeah, guys, as I was saying, you know. Things like that won't really matter, especially when I know in a few weeks I'll be getting more tire two uh, items anyway. So, you know, it doesn't really matter in that sense. No problem, my friend. So I know um, when I recorded the last two episodes, I was saying that the goal is up here, um, but then instead I put it down here in the chat window. I think that it, it just saves a bit of space up here, so it looks, you know, you guys can see more more of what's going on. Um, but since we're in a group today, I'm going to have to put it back up here. Um, because obviously I think it would be better if you guys can see uh, what what the group is saying okay so there we are we're nice and full now okay so what I'll do is in typical fashion I'll uh, I'll spam my uh, my macro 
Uh, I think we may need to change a few a few words around there first, though. Um, I tell you what, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll just do that so they know, and uh, we'll, we'll move that here. In fact, we'll get rid of that completely. So we'll change the loot to free for all as well, since they uh, they know what's going on. So obviously, as you guys know, um, basically what I do is in my boosts, I um, I, I charge. Well, I don't charge any gold at all for any boosts. Uh, the way I make my money when I'm boosting people is simply, uh, as it says in the macro, I uh, all I do is I take all of the items, unless of course they need it, and uh, yeah, that's a good way for me to make gold. It's a good way for for them to uh, get XP. Everyone's a winner, basically. You know, things like this, like stockades, where I can really solo it nice and easily. You know, it doesn't really matter so much. This is why I prefer to do places like this solo. But when it comes to places like Scarlet Monastery, where it having the group it, it basically speeds things up for you which means that you can make more gold per hour plus they get experience as well so you know a anything from sort of scarlet monastery armory onwards really is where you start you start needing a group to be honest um so yeah guys let's uh let's wait for everyone to get here and then we'll go shall we so yeah i've just explained to them you know that they don't they won't need to do anything here because i uh I, I can solo this myself really easily, so I just told them to just chill at the entrance. Um, <laughs> I bet you are, my friend. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll um, yeah, but we're full. Sorry, mate. Let's do a run whilst we wait for what's his name? On a collegeist, whatever that is. On collegeist, sorry, that's it. <laughs> no problem, my friend. Okay, so let's go, shall we? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give myself Righteous Fury. I'm going to give myself Greater Blessing and Wisdom. I've already got uh, Divine Favor up. We've got Retribution Aura up. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to use a Scroll of Spirit. And I'm going to use a Scroll of Stamina just for that little bit of extra edginess, if you know what I mean. Uh, the players have boosted me up as well. We've got the Intellect buff as well as the uh, the Warlock buff. Okay, so uh, I'll just tell them to wait here. Wait here, guys. Let's go, everybody. I know that I'm not using strafing, but it is no worries. This place is really easy to do anyway. And I've just realised we've not got our uh, holy potion thing there, so we'll we'll make sure that's on. <laughs> so to be fair, we might not even need to bubble here actually. I mean, we'll, we'll use holy potion now, and uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll use this this health potion as well. There we go. We'll just drop down consecration now. Super easy to do, right, guys? No problem, bro. Okay. You guys getting good XP. 40, 40 to 45 XP per mob. That's not bad. Oh, I've not got it on auto loot. Hang on. Let me just change that over. <laughs> uh, we'll drink up as well. What's we doing that? Uh, what is it? It's on system, I think. No, it's not. It's on uh, interface options. There you go, auto loot. Sorry, but we're full. So I don't think these guys know exactly who is boosting them. I don't think they realise that they're they're being recorded either. I think I should mention it to them. <laughs> Flipping out, man! These stuns. Jeez. They really do make it a lot harder, don't they? I may need to use bubble because of this. I mean, look at that. It's, <laughs> it makes it unplayable nearly. Yeah, I think I think we'll be alright to be fair. Drop that consecration. There we go. Although then again, we, we might have to do it. Yep. Bubble. So let me ask as well, guys. Who's excited for Blackwing Layer? I know I am. Is anybody going to be raiding it on the first night? Make sure you you're uh, you've got your achievement done as well. By the way, guys, <laughs> you don't want to be stuck there trying to do the achievement on raid night. So yeah, I know our guild is going to be doing it as soon as it releases. Um, so our, our guild at the minute is quite big. Um, so what what we've done is I think the way they're going to do it is basically um, their main the main core team that they've got is going to be doing it on the first night on the Wednesday. Um, 
and then the the second team will be doing it um, on the Thursday. I think it's the Thursday anyway. I don't remember. I mean, most likely since I'm only a trial, um, I'll end up being in the uh, the second group. Uh, but that's no worries, is it? So yeah, guys, when it comes down to doing that, wish me luck for getting some uh, some nice new armor, eh? And I know as soon as we've uh, we, we've got that down, we can. Uh, we can start doing the uh, the higher dungeons as well, continuing the gold farming series that we've done. So I'm really excited to do that actually, to be fair. So there's our bags as well after the uh, that pull. We've got one more to um, do just yet, so we're going to end up getting quite a lot of items to be fair. Now since that other side as well had a, had a load of stuns, I'm pretty sure that this one will have no stuns at all in it. Cause that's usually what happens. I know one one side usually has like all of the mobs that will just stun you, and it, it does get quite challenging uh, if you've got loads of them on you as well. That is, uh, what is that question, Rolly? Are you running prot slash holy build or or holy slash prot? Well, as you guys know, I'm actually running um, holy slash prot and retribution as well, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll respond to him in a second as well when we get to uh, to use our uh, consecration. Okay, here we go. Holy slash prop, mate. Yeah, I hope you guys are all cool with it, but I'm recording this for my uh, Let's Play episode on YouTube. So, uh, I imagine there should be. What's what cool? What's your channel? Roly the Holy Paladin, bro. There's a chest there as well, guys. We can see what uh, what we've got. If we've got anything good at all, let's see. Come on, epics. Ah, no. We, we only got a green there, but that's fine. See, that, that axe is uh, worth quite a bit, I think. So there we go guys, that's the first run done. We've uh, we've made about 50 silver, obviously we, we had to share all of the loot uh, between uh, 5 people total. Uh, so this is what we've got, I mean we've got room for like one more run I think. Uh, we've got a scroll as well, we'll use that. And uh, yeah, let's go out for the reset. How fast was that? I know you guys watching the video back can probably see but I wasn't really paying attention to the time to be fair. Definitely under 10 minutes, I think, right? Sure, thanks, man. Okay, so I'll, I'll rebuff myself. Um, give myself divine favor and let's head on out. We've got a whisper as well. Ah, yeah, okay. All right, let's go. Run number two, guys. So also, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mention it now, uh, even though it's not here yet. But um, see, I said that I was going to get a new computer soon. Any well, not soon, but I said I was going to get one. <laughs> And uh, so what I've decided to do is, after watching uh, episode 3 of this Let's Play series, I I've realised like when it comes to recording uh, videos at in the outside world, um, you know, this machine at the minute, because it's only got a dual core processor, it's not really that good for it, it can't really handle it, or at least it doesn't seem to. Um, so so what I've done is I've taken the plunge, bit the bullet and uh, got myself a new one. Uh, so so as I mentioned as well, you know, I, I do kind of have a budget at the minute. You know, I can't really afford like a two grand gaming machine unfortunately. I wish I could but you know it's just the way it is. Uh, so what I've got is, um, well I'll, I'll show you guys in a second actually what it is. Let me just finish this. From the north? <laughs> I'm not from the north bro. I'm from the mids, bro. Yeah, that's the point as well, guys. So obviously, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm from the UK. Um, to be specific, it's actually the uh, the Midlands that I'm from. So, uh, you know, I've got kind of a weird accent, apparently. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Anything north of the Watford Gap is north to me. <laughs> okay, you <East> southerner. <laughs> but wife is from Sheffield, so our daughter is mixed breed. 
Yeah, you said it, bro. <laughs> it is weird how the, the British accent is so diverse as well, actually, depending on uh, how far up or down you are in the country. Yeah, it's quite weird. Sure, man. Right, who who wanted the uh, the potions? Uh, the mage, right? I'll give you a few potions. Uh, there you go. And uh, yeah, that, yeah, I'll grab them as well, mate. There you go. No problem, my friend. Okay, let's continue. Uh oh, this is the side where all the stuns are again. We'll be fine, I think. Oh, I'm hoping so. <laughs> we, we can't seem to move at the minute. <laughs> okay, right, here we go. Shot that consecration. Boom. I mean, the only the only downside to doing this place is the uh, the um, the camera because uh, obviously, as you know, you're in like quite a tight spot, so you can't really. It's not like SM where you can see everything, so that's the only downside to this place, really. I'm gonna drop a rank one consecration to save on mana a little bit, I think. Ah, I realised I forgot to say what uh, PC that I've got actually. Yeah, it's only a second-hand one on eBay. It's uh, it's nothing, nothing too fancy. Um, so yeah, once I've looted all these up, I'll uh, I'll show you guys what it is. Oh, what's that cloak, bro? Which one? The one of the owl? Can we roll it for it? Yeah, you can roll it for it, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, you can take it, bro. I don't mind. Uh, this one, right? There you go. Just, just take it. Okay. Uh, yeah. One sec, guys. Right. Let me just show you guys. Uh, so, obviously, uh, what I'll do is just bear with me one second. So I'll put a picture up at this point anyway, so you guys can see it. Um, but basically, so here's the specs on it. It's a uh, the CPU is a AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 2700, eight core, 3.2 gigahertz uh, CPU. Um, it's got a 250 gigabyte uh, SSD. It's got a one terabyte hard drive. It's got 16 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM at uh, 320 megahertz, um, and it's also got. It's not well. The graphics card in it isn't as good as what other things that I've seen, but um, comparing it to the the current graphics card that I've got at the minute, it's actually better, or at least I think it's better according to Google. It is anyway. So the graphics card is a uh, a GTX 950, and it's a two gigabyte one. Um, obviously, it's got Windows 10 as well. Uh, so yeah, that's that's basically the specs of it. Uh, I got it from eBay. I got it for like how much was it? I think it was. Uh, let me just see. It was six hundred and fifty. Uh, so yeah, guys. I mean, it's probably not like a, a super a super um, you know top of the range high performance thing that's gonna you know shoot me off to the moon and back. But um, you know, it, I think to be honest, it'll do what it what it needs to do. It'll be It'll perform better doing these uh, these recordings as well as live streams as well, which I think saying that as well, guys, uh, when it comes to live streaming, I think when I get to a thousand subs, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll celebrate that by doing a live stream with you guys on YouTube. Um, obviously, you know, the time and date will uh, will pre will pre arrange it. So everyone's got a chance to, you know, make sure they can jump in and watch along and, you know, interact with me and stuff. But um you know, I think to celebrate it because obviously we'll have a new machine. It'll be a lot better. So I think we'll we'll definitely do that. Um, but yeah, like like I say, you know, the, I think the main take home from it is the uh, the CPU. Uh, as far as like, so I, I'm not really a, a complete wizard when it comes to that sort of thing. But um, as far as I'm aware, it's mainly the CPU, right? That uh, that does all the stuff when it comes to recording videos and whatnot, right? Um, so obviously it's got eight cores. Uh, so that should be a lot better, right? Or at least I think it will be. I hope so. <laughs> I don't want to just realise that I've spent all this money and not uh, not got something that's going to do what it what it says on the tin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think it will be fine, guys. You know, I should be able to run the game max graphics and 
in 1080p as well. You know, HD, I should be able to get it running at that with nice smooth frame rate. Uh, well, that's the plan anyway. I hope so. It should do in WoW Classic at least. Uh, so yeah, guys, that that's the uh, the PC that I've got. Boom, nice and easy. Okay, let's start looting them. What what's consecration kills them? Okay, so our inventory is full now. So uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go to the vendor. Uh, so what's that? We've made just under a gold for all of that. Reset time, fellas. Let's go. Just nip into the vendor too. One minute. So I'll reset the dungeon first as well, so they can uh, they can go inside if they want to. Ah, 12 minutes, 21 seconds. That's including the standing still, right? Yeah. So next run, we'll, we'll get him to time it again, and, and we'll see. We'll see exactly what what we're looking at, right? So let's sell all of the uh, the grey items first. Uh, so remember, uh, five hundred and ninety-five gold. Right. So there we go, five hundred and ninety-seven. Okay, so that's like a two gold increase. Uh, so what we'll do is as well, we've got some good items here. Actually, I know that'll sell, uh, but I think for the most part, most of these things I'm going to disenchant. Uh, you know, things like of the tiger and of the bear, I think I'll keep them because uh, that, they'll end up selling. Uh, that will sell as well. Uh, that's a two-handed weapon. Uh, I'll disenchant that. Yeah. So, I'll... Uh, yeah. So, I'll disenchant all of these items here. And then we, we can put them straight on the auction house as well. Plus it saves us a bit of space as well. I mean, I think we'll have to run to the mailbox soon anyway to sell, send all of the stuff over to our, our uh, bank hole. Uh, so yeah, because we've, we've got quite a lot of cloth to be fair. Yeah, well, uh, how did you die, bro? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll send all of this over to our bank hole. And uh, you know, then then we've got full. Well, okay, let's send all of the cloth first as well. We've got quite a bit of silk as well, which is which is really good actually for stockades. Send over the uh, enchanting stuff. Send over the greens and that as well. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's head on back now, shall we? Ah, the riot came. <laughs> oh dear. Whoopsie daisy. Hang on, so th this means that I've got. Oh, yeah, I've got a res you guys up there. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is Wild Classic Gold Farming Episode 5 part one. If you've enjoyed today's video then go ahead and subscribe to the channel but when you do make sure that you press the bell icon that way you will then be notified when I release new videos. The second part of this video will be released tomorrow so if you are looking forward to that then make sure that you do subscribe. Also as mentioned when we do reach that 1000 subscriber threshold, we'll celebrate it by doing the channel's first ever live stream here on YouTube. So until the next episode everyone, see ya.